What's up everyone? So today we are going to create a snippet for generating React components. I'm going to include TypeScript. And this is not like a introduction to new Lua Snip API, rather this is just uh, a, an exercise for you to um, try, try out. All right, so let's get started. It's going to look something like this. When I hit expand of the snippet, it will generate something like this, right? Here you can see the component name is already filled. I'm going to get the file name and use it as the component name. That's usually the best practice. Just like in Java, we would use the file name as the component name. All right, there is one more important thing here. If you have the React import already, then we are not going to regenerate that line again, as you can see here. So that's something we are going to do using tree sitter you will see how to do that we are not going to do all of these in one go but rather maybe two or three uh, video series all right and one more thing we can generate props using prop snippet when i expand you can see it will automatically fill the parameters within these brackets okay so hit expand as you can see we got the file name and appended props to it. That's usually the best practice. And we have the parameter added automatically when we expand. All right, let's try to do this. First of all, I have this really simple snippet i2 generate hello world. And the file type is TypeScript React. That's basically TSX files. So let's make sure it's working. I and hit expand. It generates hello world. Cool. Everything is working as expected. Now I'm going to remove the T or the text node. Instead, I'm going to use FMT. And let's add multi line strings. I'm going to copy all this actually without the parameters. So paste it here. Let me re indent. All right, cool. Instead of questions or question, I'm going to add the placeholder there. But here we need to have curly braces literally not as a placeholder so to escape i'll add open curly brace here and closing curly brace here okay we have first of all import fmt so i'll go here and import okay now to for placeholders we have to add nodes we have only one placeholder right here so i'll do Let's start with a text node and um, try it out first. I'm going to call this hello. Okay. I'm going to remove everything from here. Refresh the snippets and expand. There we go. We got hello. But what we want is not a literal text. Um, what we want is something dynamic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this text node with a functional node once again i have to import this like so and here instead of passing a string we have to have a function and when we return something i'll call this world you can see the returned value will be the node text okay remove refresh and expand there you go the component name is world Okay, now what we want is to get the file name without the extension obviously so how do i do that first of all i'll bring this command line i'll type lua and equal sign to get the output i can do vim function expand and i can add dollar sign this will give me the the relative path from the current directory to the file that i have opened right now but I just want the file um, name only. So to get that, I can add colon t, I believe. Yes, there you go. We have question.tsx file. However, once again, I don't need the um, extension. So I think it's colon r. Yep, there you go. We got the file name. So this is the one we should be using. So let me copy this and paste it here. Return the value. There you go. Now, if you want more information about these 
expand you can do it expand and if you scroll down you will see there are a bunch of modifiers you can use like this to get exactly what you want now save i'm going to remove everything refresh the snippets hit i and expand there you go we have the question super simple next what we want to do is we want to import react um with the snippet if i do here let's say import react from react if i do this here what happened to the okay yeah this looks good let me refresh and hit expand there you go we have the react import however if let's say i have a function here something like this and let's say i'm going to regenerate the snippet you can see the import is after the function we kind of want it to be at the top of the file so instead of adding it to the fmt template what i'm going to do is i'm going to generate that dynamically using lua apis all right so inside the function here what i'm going to do is vim api and vim i think it's buff set lines yes there we go let me get the help doc vim i think it's and vim buff set lines there you go first one is going to be the buffer usually we are going to send zero that basically means the current buffer we are in so here it's going to be zero start is going to be the start of the line we were we want to uh, replace and end line of end line um, basically we are selecting a range and replacing everything within that range uh, with what we are passing okay strict indexing i'm going to set it to false and replacement is basically going to be the table we are we, we want to replace the content with okay start is going to be zero and is going to be zero that basically means the first line we have in the file and i'm going to set this to false and replacement is going to be a string like this import react from react okay i have to use double quotes here and yeah i think this looks good let's try it out once again refresh and hit i okay something went wrong that's because we have a react import here i'm going to remove that okay there you go remove everything delete this as well refresh hit i expand there you go now we have react import at the top as it should be and component where we where we had the cursor on um yeah all right so this is basically it right now if i regenerate the same thing you can see it will re-import uh, re-add the import for react which is something we don't want we could use string pattern matching and read the file maybe 10 lines of the file and see if react is already imported or not however what we are going to use is a uh, uh, tree sitter syntax tree because that's more reliable than string pattern matching and it's um, quite fast to do that as well since we have the access to syntax tree and that's already generated uh, when we open up the file so yeah the, uh, that that's something we are going to cover in the next video all right that's it for this video thanks for watching have a nice day